Hi, Super Spruce here, back on our answer and wrench New Game Minus 4 video, episode 12, and I have enough antimatter to be able to get two galaxies, and this should definitely help things, like, or no, not just two galaxies, what am I saying, three galaxies, and this is going to allow me to get a lot more galaxy points, because, like, well, first, first of all, the galaxies are, are pretty powerful, but... The more important thing is that the um, the galaxies are going to multiply the galaxy point gain, allowing me to get the gain more galaxy points based on total antimatter. Also, this is up to 3.14 times from just three times, so that sh that will definitely help. Like next time, so like like think about it. Like at three times flat, if I got this at exactly 20 galaxy points, the next time I would get. Uh, um, 60 galaxy points, but here with the 3.14 times, it's more like 64 galaxy points, and that's a four extra galaxy points to spare. And this upgrade is based on unspent galaxy points. Like you're gonna see it. Like I'm probably gonna go a little over 20 galaxy points in this run, just because it's probably easy to do so, and you'll you'll just see what that's gonna be like. When when I said that, I I meant you'll just see what, like, this upgrade will go up to. I'm actually not sure what it will go up to. It's, prob it's probably pretty powerful, but I, I really have no idea. And right now I'm just holding M. That's why it's so fast. Holding M is just the right thing at this point. It's just so much faster than before. And I probably don't even need to go much beyond 30 8th dimensions for this. Like, I feel like I'm just going to do the, no the normal 30 8th dimension run and that will allow me to, like, I'll do, like, the one more dimension boost, one more time dimension boost, and then go back up to 38th dimensions, and I'll probably get something like 30, I'll, I'm not sure, maybe, like, 24 galaxy points? I'm thinking it's going to be something like that. And I'm going to essentially do the next run, the next galactic sacrifice, is just going to essentially be the exact same thing. So here it is. Here is the... Um, dimension boost. Now all I have to do is the next, uh, the, the next time dimension shift. And I can actually galactic sacrifice for 21 galaxy points, but I, but if I can get quick galaxy points, like here, like it's probably going to take like one or two minutes to be able to get the next time dimension um, shift and like, and, and then get 38th dimensions after that. And that's probably like a few more galaxy points. And Spare galaxy points are going to be extremely important once I start getting these upgrades. So it's, it's only a little slow here. It's not even that slow. It's like still like 40% second over second. And there's just so there's so many per 10 things you can buy here that it's, yeah, it's not even slow. And here is the time dimension boost. Now all I need is 38th dimensions, which is not even as far as before. And um, I am more powerful than before. And you can see already 23 galaxy points. And I think I'll be able to make it to like 24 or 25 if I go up to 38th dimensions. So yeah, my E34, E35 is coming up. Yeah, All I need is E38. So um, yeah, I'm really almost there. This will, it's gonna be pretty exciting. I mean, next run is gonna be boring. It's gonna be the, literally the exact same thing. Actually here it is, 27 galaxy points. I may even go for a tick speed boost because I can. I'm not exactly sure. I, I think I should go for a tick speed boost because why not? Be because I'll, I'll maybe the tick speed boosts help. I'm not sure how much they would help, but I'm actually just going to try this because at the very least it's going to be much faster getting back up to 38th dimensions. I'm not sure if they're going to really help, but at least this will be a good test to see if they actually help me get galaxy points, or if they just um, help me get more antimatter. So, E36, E37, and it is still 27 galaxy points, so I should probably not do that tick speed boost if I want to get the galaxy points. So, yeah, here, here we go, 27 galaxy points. I could even push the 48th dimensions, but I don't really think that's the wisest decision. So, yeah, here it is. This will... Um, if I have seven spare galaxy points, I'll be able to get a 13 times multiplier normal and time dimensions. If I am 
kind of like more than that. Actually, I, I saw a 27 spare galaxy points. It was like 260 times multiplier. And I'm thinking if I get like a 3 times 27, that would be 81 plus the 7 I already have there. I would have 39 galaxy points. This is going to be overpowered. But unfortunately, this run is going to be the exact same as last run. So I'm just going to do all of this off camera. Seen a bit. Okay, I've done a compl I have done another run, and actually I went all the way up to 48th dimensions here, which means I'm going to get 95 galaxy points, which is huge, because this will allow me to like after getting this 50 galaxy up upgrade to have 52 spare galaxy points. This is going to give me let's see, 5.C9E2, which is in base 10 is almost a 1500 times multiplier on all dimensions including time dimensions that is like the 75 times oh it's almost no, not quite squared but it's it's so much more powerful so you're just gonna see how incredibly fast this is gonna be like like even like i'm just holding m this is all i'm doing and i We'll probably easily be able to get three galaxies, and this yeah, this is just gonna be overpowered, just completely overpowered. It's, it's just like the last run is gonna be, it's just gonna feel so slow compared to this one. And also, not only I have this like fifteen hundred times multiplier, I also have like a two to three times multiplier there. So it almost is like the last multiplier square. So here is the first galaxy. Now I'm going to, um, actually I first need the time dimension shift before the regular dimension shift. And then once I get the time dimension shift, I can start getting the regular dimension shifts. I think I just go up to eighth dimensions. I don't, may not even need the, um, the fifth dimension shift. All I need is just 20 eighth dimensions, which is going to be super easy to get. Um, here it is. And then now I'll just do it. Same thing again, except since we have like another galaxy, it's it's gonna be even more overpowered. Dimension shift, another dimension shift. You can see it's just taking only a few seconds between every reset, which is insanity. For new game minus 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 minus, this this feels like it's it, this feels illegal for new game minus 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 minus. So I can even get this, which. I, I I now have six. This is where things may slow down slightly, only slightly, because I, I'm going to be able to get the tick speed boost, which will help um, speed things up more. Also, I actually experimented like at the last run, where I actually tried to get a second tick speed boost, and it actually did reset everything. So that means this is not worded very well. The the this is your on um, a tick speed boost, your dimension boost and time dimension boost don't reset unless you have more tick speed boosts than um, five times your antimatter galaxies minus eight. It must mean more or equal to after the reset. That's that's what it actually means. So I know it, it's it's dumb how they word this, but whatever. This is this is so fast. I could probably just like do this last time dimension shift. Like right here, and that's probably it. I'd like I don't I don't think it's worth it to go on a longer run. It's just it's just better to try to get up to the thirty eighth dimensions, and this will give me forty six galaxy points, and then just and then just do another run. This is gonna um, go from a five point C nine E two to like two E three in hexadecimal, which is I'm guessing that's about 10,000 in normal notations. So I just got like another eight times multiplier. Even with the dilation effects, it's still probably like a four times multiplier on normal dimensions and time dimensions, which is insane. You can this is this is why I told you that once I got this upgrade, the game was gonna change. Like like it was gonna drastically change because it did that in. In the other new game minus mods, so of course it's gonna do that in this mod as well. So I'm 
I may try to just go for another shorter run, or I may try to go for a longer run. I'm, I'm real. I'm actually not sure what I should do. I feel like I'll do like one more shorter run and then go for a longer run to see how far I can get, and then maybe I'll start focusing on the challenges because that's because you can notice I'm now just holding M the entire time, and. And like this, this is where I would actually need some automation. Like before, it was not good because it was buying all these time dimensions. But now it's so fast that, like it, it should be buying, or or I mean, it shouldn't be buying these. But it's still faster to do that than to just do it like manually. Also, I only have, I had like no time dimension shifts there. I, I had six dimension boosts, and and three time dimension shifts. So like that, that's how insane. This was. I'm like, why, why, why is this much slower than it should be? Because I have don't have the time dimension shifts that I would normally need here. So 30. Actually, I, I, I'm probably not even get the tick speed boost. Tick speed boost just speed things up. It doesn't. It does not help with galaxy points. Um. So yeah, I don't really need the tick speed boost. I, okay. What I'm gonna. What I'm going to. Actually, I don't even think I need to go on the sort of longer run. I think I'll. All you need to do is just keep doing these shorter runs, and you can see I'm getting almost 20 galaxy points every minute. I, this may not even be the most efficient strategy. It may be more efficient to just like do it earlier, but here it is: 19 galaxy points per minute, 46 galaxy points. I can get this upgrade, but then it's gonna nerf that upgrade, so I'm probably not gonna do that. And honestly, I feel like I should start going for challenges. And maybe pretty soon. I feel like I just want to do one longer. I, I don't know. Longer runs are not even going to help at this point. Like, I, I really think the shorter run. Like, you could, like in New Game Minus Minus Minus, remember episode 6? The title was literally Short Runs Are King. Because I was finding out that shorter runs like this. And what I mean by runs, I mean like galactic sacrifices. Like, like the shorter runs... Are or um, turned out to be much better than longer runs where I tried to get as many galaxies as possible. I mean, it could help with this upgrade here, but I think it's better just to try to get as many galaxy points as possible. Also, this is now up to 6.75 E3, which is about a three times multiplier to all dimensions. Even with the dilation nerfs, it's probably like a two times multiplier to all dimensions. So, yeah, that's pretty overpowered like you can see how many tick speed upgrades i'm getting like actually i don't i only have fourth time dimensions like once i start getting the time dimension shifts i'll be able to get a lot more of these tick speed upgrades and it's just super easy to reach the 30 eighth dimensions and even, even probably like 40 to 50 will be easy the thing is though with like 40 to 50 eighth dimensions is that like a lot of the progression in New Game Minus 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 is based on, like, the like the per 10 things is just, like, this multiplier in all dimensions, and it's, instead of exponential, like in the vanilla game, it's polynomial, which, like, it's, exponentially, it gets weaker over time. But anyway, I'm just going to get these 46 galaxy points, and I think I'm just going to um, start focusing on the challenges. These challenges will be in the next episode. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.